So this is the final review session for the last test of the semester, um, Unit 8, um, in, um, Individual uh, Behavior, um, looking at intelligence testing and personality. Uh, 46 multiple choice questions, two FRQs, lots of specifics. Um, make sure you can apply it to yourself. Uh, be able to explain each theory of intelligence and of personality, and know who did each theory of intelligence and personality. So, a few FRQ hints to start off with. Um, <clears throat> we did our um, processing packets for uh, both intelligence and personality. Look back at those. I hope you didn't recycle those. You need to look at those examples. Um, is each theory on the nature side, nurture side, or is it an interaction between the two? And if you could design a school for optimum intelligence or personality development, how would you apply each of these concepts? So first of all, <coughs> excuse me, theories of intelligence. And um, we have several key people that you need to know and what they contributed to the idea of trying to measure intelligence, which we know um, is actually not a static thing. Uh, so uh, Sir Francis Galton, uh, Binet versus Terman, who was nature, who was nurture, Spearman versus Thurstone, who was, uh, to whom was each a predecessor. Uh, Cattell's idea, Gardner's idea, Sternberg's idea. Sternberg member, when I, somebody gives me a stern lurk when I put my cap on in class. Um, and then um, the emotional intelligence of Mayer, Salovey, and Caruso. <coughs> um, know how to calculate the uh, IQ score. And please know that this was not done, this, excuse me, this was done by Stern not Terman. That kind of runs together in your reading, so make sure you know the difference there. Um, again, that's those processing sheets are enormous help and um, helping you distinguish among these. Uh, for intelligence testing, make sure you know the difference between aptitude test, what you're capable of, and achievement test, what you have achieved. Um, as far as the speed of intelligence, um, this is the processing speed, which is divided into the perceptual speed, how fast you take it in perceptually, and then the neural speed, how fast the brain works once it you know, gets to the brain, the comprehension part. Um, Wexler's uh, got both the adult and the children's uh, test and know <clears throat> that a difference between the verbal and performance score may indicate that there's a problem uh, with learning. Um, standardization of IQ scores and some of the criticisms that go along with that and how we norm these. Uh, make sure you do know the normal, <coughs> excuse me, normal curve and the 34, 14, and 2 percent uh, percentages with, of stand, or with intelligence and that there's a 15 point standard deviation um, with the mean, median, and mode all being 100 and how you can calculate people's IQ scores from that. Um, the Flynn effect. Um, each generation's getting smarter. That means you guys are very much smarter than I am. Um, reliability and validity. Uh, and we've done some activities with this. Go back and review those. Um, know that for, for validity, look at the content versus predictive validity and where there's always some sort of correlation in which one of those. Um, different types of testing for reliability of, as well. Inter rater reliability, split half reliability. So um, we did some activities with that. So make sure you look at that. And then also just some um, basic ideas of the bias in intelligence testing. We, we did a couple examples of that. Um, reification, taking something that is, um, uh, what do I want to say, um, intangible and trying to come up with a way to measure it with a number. And factor analysis, that will be a way to determine both intelligence and personality scores. So make sure you know when someone says factor analysis what that means. Uh, dynamics of intelligence, make sure with the extreme levels um, that you know, first of all, the IQ scores for intellectual disabilities, that was formerly known as multi uh, mental retardation. Um, and then on the opposite end of the extreme, the precocious or gifted learners, um, your test will refer to the word precocious a couple times. And I expect you to know that means somebody who's higher in IQ than their peers and how they can retrieve information faster. That would be that neurological speed as well. 
Um, heritability, back to this, this, we haven't seen this for a while. Um, so which of the following statements is true, that heritability is the extent to which an individual's, hint, hint, wrong, intelligence is attributed to genetic factors, or the gender un general underlying intelligence factor that is measured by every task on an intelligence test, <laughs> no, or the percentage of variation intelligence within a group, yes, 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 that is attributed to genetic factors. And so the more similar their upbringing, any differences will be due to genetics. So keep that in mind. Um, personality constructs, moving on to the next chapter. We got a lot of these, just lots and lots of theories with this, you guys. Um, psychoanalytic theory, obviously Freud, um, a big a big here. And so we, I want you to know his theory of personality, the id, the ego, and the superego, the theory of the mind, which is the conscious, preconscious, unconscious, and then defense mechanisms. And there's a whole list of those. And then um, there will be a matching section, or well, several questions on, on matching defense mechanisms to their examples. Um, the Neo-Freudians, they descended from Freud. Um, two of them were more um, uh, and displeased with his sexual over social emphasis. Make sure you know which two those were. And um, you know, just that biological aspect. Um, Adler, make sure when you add a child, you know how that changes the birth order personality-wise, and also the inferiority complex. Uh, Karen Horney, domineering, withdrawing, dependent, uh, womb envy, basic anxiety, gotta know all of those. Um, Carl Jung, uh, make sure that collective unconscious is part of what you can uh, apply, as well as his various archetypes. And Erickson, even though he really wasn't in, we sort of looked at him in development, um, he was a one-time follower of Freud. <coughs> Uh, personality uh, continued with humanistic theories. This really, we've talked about these guys before, uh, Maslow several times, make sure you can tell me about the hierarchy. And Rogers, we just talked about him recently with um, therapy. So <clears throat> make sure you get in the idea of the real self and ideal self and um, the idea of age, acceptance, genuineness, and empathy. Uh, trait theories, lots of different trait theories. Some of them are review from intro, such as Gordon Alport's cardinal central and secondary traits, um, Ising's overlapping uh, dimensions of uh, neur neuroticism and uh, extroversion scale. Uh, Cattell surface and source traits with his 16 continuums of uh, uh, source traits. And then the big five, this one was not an intro. Um, so um, the openness, conscientiousness, extra, extroversion, agreeableness, and neuroticism. So make sure you know the differences and what all of those mean. Um, social and cognitive perspective. Here's Bandura. Bandura was a behaviorist with the Bobo doll. He did the modeling. He talked about self-efficacy. If you have, if you are, if you have self-efficacy, you believe in your ability to complete a task, and that can vary from task to task. It's not like self-esteem, which is overall feelings. Um, reciprocal determinism is also Bandura's, so we've got that interaction between behavioral, psychological, and environmental. Um, if I feel that I'm a certain type of outgoing person, then I probably select environments that uh, help me to be outgoing. I surround myself with other people who are outgoing, and that only increases my own self-perception of being outgoing. Um, Rotter's idea of locus of control, internal and external locus of control, internal, I'm in charge, I'm, it's my fault, good or bad, um, external, no, it's fate, it's destiny, it's somebody else's doing. Um, make sure you also, between those, know the connection to learned helplessness um, and explanatory styles of optimistic and pessimistic. And then Walter Michel's cognitive personal variables, there's five of those. We applied those to um, Batman and to yourself. And remember, um, there's, uh, there's a little acronym for that as well. And then, whoopsie, sorry, this is kind of going off the page. There's the five. Um, you can't see those. So look back in your notes for those. Sorry, that's getting cut off here. 
Um, then we did a personality wrap up with measurement. We've got that Barnum effect, which is no good. Um, that's when something's so general, it relates to everybody. Objective versus projective test. Objective has an answer key. You have answers to choose from. Projective, you're projecting yourself into it. Um, how valid are they? Well, objective's going to be more valid than projective. Um, specific types, definitely you need to know these. These are all in your reading. We've looked a little bit at each of these, but you need to know these, be able to recognize them, all of that good stuff. Are they objective? Are they projective? What are they? And then for self, um, we looked at our possible selves, the selves we are versus the selves we want to be. Uh, the spotlight effect, when it comes to personality, everybody will look at me, everybody will notice something about me. Self-esteem, remember that is overall we have a general feeling of self-esteem, high or low. And self-serving bias, this is a repeat from our, um, our cognitive unit. Um, we tend to see ourselves a little bit better than we are uh, to help our, our egos a little bit. And uh, there is a cultural difference in self-serving bias. And finally, in both chapters, gosh, like I said, just tons and tons of, of, of theories. Um, I just recommend that you make a web or a chart to categorize and know who did what. Know which intelligence person did which theory, which personality person did which theory. Um, we did that. Like I said, the Batman application is good to review. Um, nature, nurture, or interaction, just like I started out with. And you need to be very specific in your writing. Your goal is to leave no doubt in the grader's mind that you understand all of this information. That's it. Good luck. Come see me if you have any questions.